okay so let's just quickly go through the remaining attribute selector types or the variations of that so we'll start with the, the one which is basically name and with the pipe symbol equal to value so here which it basically says selects elements that have specified attribute with value either equal to the given string or starting with that so basically let's have a look at the code for this what it means is here in the paragraph my attribute id it is like de demo de dash mo demographic and democratic so now here basically what it says is if i say id is equal to de so it should be either de or it should be de hyphen something fine so in this case the given value should be the complete thing here or it should be the given value hyphen and something so in this case these two paragraphs will be selected so if we go to our example i'll reload this page so first two paragraph you will notice are going to work so this is the purpose of name pipe symbol equal to value so this value should be the complete word of your attribute attribute value should be this or that should be the starting part hyphen anything after that will be applicable okay now let's move to the next example here we are talking about another variation which is name asterisk is equal to value so what it says is select elements that have specified attribute with a value containing that substring so in this case let's have a look at the next example over here what we have here is fine i have taken ra fine this ra should be there in my given string anywhere it doesn't matter whether it's in the beginning or it, it should not be a word so in this case when i have taken ra ra is here ra is here so if we look at this example the last two get selected from this fine so you can try any variation on this like if we take de m or if we take de in both the cases then all the four paragraphs will be affected with this fine you can see this because d is there in my attribute value but if we make it demo or dem then let's see what happens then sorry let me reload this sorry i have not changed this let me change this one also okay so here only these two will be affected because dem is here these are dem so doesn't matter whether it is in the starting or end or somewhere it has to be those specified characters should be there in my uh, attribute value fine but continuous so this is your selector name the specified name of the id star asterisk sorry asterisk is equal to the value then let's see what other variation we have is has a word now in the previous one we noticed that the given thing was could appear anywhere in between so let's have a look look at the code of this has a word so in this case i have taken the attribute font over here fine right? so here in the style attribute sorry i have taken the attribute style which has font and multiple values are there now in this case when we say tilde equals to mono which means mono should appear as a word somewhere fine so let's see if this works now this is not working right because mono is not a word as such so let's change this mono to say bold and even bold over here and let's try this now now in this case the second paragraph and the 
third paragraph both has the word bold and let's see what happens now you can see these are here right working for this here this is set as equal to sorry that's why it's not working let's update this to with tilt symbol bold fine okay so these three has this has bold this has bold and this has bold over here so if i do this this it is working for this one so basically what we are looking for is an attribute value which has that specific word now coming to the next example over here we have words beginning or ending with words so this is if if you are aware of uh, oh, what do we say regular expressions you will easily understand this because the symbol used are the same so in this case our representation is our attribute name dollar dollar is a representation of ending and caret is a representation of beginning which means the specified character should be at the end of our attribute value so this whole thing is the attribute value keep in mind huh? and here this means that we are looking for attribute value that are starting with these given characters now if we uh, jump to this example so first let's have a look at there which one has text so the last paragraph uh, sorry the second and fourth paragraph are having text and where we have as here mono space this is the last characters for this one so second and fourth will become this dashed red and this one and this one will become blue fine let's try this so here so when i went to the first button mouse over as so this has as in the end this has as in the end and here caret represents starting so here this is text and when we go to this second and fourth paragraph where this and this are selected okay so this is the starting and ending ones and what is the next one next one let's have a look at here okay now the next variation that is there is putting multiple at attribute value selection mechanisms these could be the different ones which we have discussed now this helps us to fine grain or fine selection of our elements so basically this should match this should match and this should match and whatever n number of selectors you specify it will work with that so now in this case let's have a look at our example what i have is certain paragraphs of class demo but out of which i also want to further tune it to select the other one attribute style which has the value ending with is so now when my mouse will move over this these two have classes demo right so the first criteria matches but ending with is matches only with this one so if we run this and take our cursor over here only this one gets selected so you can use multiple of them and try to fine tune or fine grain your selection over here and the final one is basically negation okay so in this negation it's actually the first one where you can say attribute is equal to some value right so this is basically negating it in simple terms so if i select this and run my program what happens is it selects all of them which has demo now here it will look weird because now it means select all the or update the css of all the elements which do does not have a class demo so here we reload this and except for the ones which were not having the class demo everything has got the border done so that's a 
quick overview of different styles with which you can use the attribute and value selection mechanism. Uh, we'll have further discussion in upcoming videos about what are the other selector mechanisms.